Okay, you are fanatics. Welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central. Look, this this video here is not going to be about lawns. It's going to be about getting mud off the side of your house. Now, if you can see, you see right along in there, you see that mud at the bottom of my uh, brick. All right. And by the way, guys, before I go any further, if you haven't subscribed, guys, go ahead, click that subscription button. Reason why you need to click it. Every time BYD uploads a video, you will be notified by YouTube, all right? That way you can keep informed on everything that I'm doing. But this video is primarily to get this mud off the side of the house. And the reason, guys, I'm making a video about this because it's... And you guys remember, I, I had a rant in my last video, and, I, and I, I, got, I got upset. Because, like I said, as much as I do to my property, and you get letters like this, that's asinine because Georgia clay is, is if you know anything about Georgia clay when it gets on red brick it's hard to get out off but um, I called my uncle who does stuff like this and he told me to get this product and it's called muratic acid should be a picture right there like I said this is non-sponsored just went to Home Depot picked this brand up it's like ten dollars a gallon and I'm gonna see if it works and if it works you got a hell of a video if it doesn't work you got a hell of a video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Not going to take a long time, but let me show you the items that you'll need to get that red clay off your bricks. Okay, you're fanatics. Look, here goes some of the items that you're going to need. All right, you see you need safety boots, and it's not necessarily a thing that you need. If you got work boots and they're resistant to certain things, that'll be fine. But these are chemical resistant. Um... The brush is just to scrub the wall to try to see if we can get some of that stuff to come out once we put it on there. You need a pair of uh, chemical resistant gloves and I would suggest you get the ones that come up past your wrist. Um, I have another pair of gloves down there but those are not chemical resistant guys. Those are just resist dirt and stuff like that. But I got them there so you can see it. Make sure you get ones that are chemical resistant. You need at least a one gallon spray even though i got a two gallon we're only going one gallon at a time and we got the lauratic acid that brand is called clean strip all right and we got a uh, measuring cup here and this cloth guys is just so if i need to wipe my face uh, some may accidentally splash on my face i can hurry up and get it off all right and you're going to also need a pair of safety glasses now the the bottle says you need splash proof goggles i don't have any of these at the time but i'm letting you know that you need splash proof goggles or make sure you have some safety glasses that will cover your eyes completely up because you don't want any of that stuff to get in your um, eyes because it could be detrimental all right okay guys before i start i'm going to blow this up so you can see this all right now they want you to dilute 12 ounces of muriatic acid per gallon of water in a plastic sprinkling can or a plastic pump sprayer. That's what we got right there. All right. And they want you to let it sit for five minutes. Tougher stains, guys, they're going to say 24. Um, let's sit five to 10 minutes. And that's etching concrete, all right? But we're trying to get this mud out. And it's very important that do not splash while mixing in closed area. Vapors can cause uh, metal corrosion. Uh, also on here it says, do not mix this product with household bleaches or any other chemicals, all right? And the reason for that is once you put it in your container, uh, like a pump spread, those mixed gases can cause it to explode. <laughs> Then you get all that stuff on you and then we're talking about another situation right there and by the way guys somebody was asking me about those beats in my head the reason I, I have these in my head at certain times when you're doing a job like this these are BYD's tips hydrate up before you do this all right do not be drinking and and spraying <laughs> at the same time and the reason you don't want any open canisters out here you don't want any of this mist to get into the container and then you accidentally drink it and kill yourself all right so don't drink while doing this hydrate up before you do this um, I have the 
cloth right here. Like I said, if I accidentally miss myself, I'm gonna pat myself real quick and get that stuff off me. Or if I'm sweating profusely, I wanna go ahead and dab myself dry. I don't wanna rub myself, just dab myself dry. Um, the other thing, like I said, the long sleeves, make sure you have those on, take off your watches, uh, long pants. And like I said, those beats are, so I can talk to Siri. So if, if I'm out here and I don't know what time it is, I can say, hey Siri, um, what time is it? Okay, Siri hurt me, but that, I can say that and I can ask it what time it is and all that good stuff. Or if I get a phone call, I can answer it that way. I have it on auto answer, so I don't have to touch anything. I don't, I don't have to, you know, tap my ear or nothing like that. So certain things you need to do before you go ahead and do this project. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, this formula, they says it's 90% less fumy than some of the other muriatic acids. So if you got a, a dust mask or respirator, you could put that on. But with this formula right here, you shouldn't have to put it on. Just make sure you don't mist it up or, or breathe it in heavy. Make sure you're doing it in an open environment and you should be fine. Read the directions before you start. And if you have any questions, call that 1-800 number right there. If, you, if I got it, you see it? 1-800-398, is that 3892? Zoom in. Yeah, 1-800-398-3892. Call Monday through Friday between 8 a.m., 4.30 p.m. Central, Central Time. If you got any questions, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you are for next. First thing I need to do is go ahead and mix 12 ounces. I may go a little bit more, I may go like 14 ounces because this Georgia clay is going to be something else. So let's go ahead and get that mixture. And I got it, in a, um, I'm using one gallon of water in a pump sprayer. And guys, make sure you test that pump sprayer out before you actually start this because you don't want any leaks. You don't want to find out you have leaks <laughs> when you're doing it. You'd rather find out when you before you add this muriatic acid to it. Guys, that direction says for you to stir it up with a non-metallic um, stick, like a new use a wood stick. But since we have it in a pump sprayer, we're just gonna go ahead and shake it up. And like I said, make sure that you have this, this part sealed tightly. Shake it up slowly. Don't shake it up super fast, but shake it up slowly. Okay, and that's good enough right there. All right, next step, we're gonna go ahead and spray it on the wall. As you see, I got it on this like fan, fan tip mode, per se. <clears throat> and I can see you know, a little bit of that mud kind of coming off. I mean, just a little bit. I'm going to wet it down real good. Uh, that way I have something to, to work with here. So like I said, I don't want it to dry out on me. And once you do this, they want you to go ahead and take your brush. Go ahead and start scrubbing on it. <clears throat> and hopefully, hopefully you getting good pictures. Like I said, I'm out here by myself. But. And guys, they want you to wait approximately five minutes or so. One said five to ten minutes, so it's kind of be up to you. After you do your first area, you'll know if you need to let it. If you need to let it off, uh, sit there any longer. Alright, 
So I gave that a decent scrub and we'll come back five minutes from now and uh, start the pressure washing uh, procedure. Now, I don't know if you necessarily, I'm gonna use a pressure washer um, because it's gonna be hard to get off, but they basically say just come by and rinse it off. So I think I'm gonna need a pressure washer to get this mud off, so we'll see. Five okay, you are for minutes that. Look, it's later. Been five minutes. Now, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna put it in um, fast motion because you, you might get bored <laughs> just watching me pressure wash the side of the house for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in fast motion and then I'll let it dry out. And we'll look at the difference between me using that muriatic acid on those, that red mud and, and, and on that brick versus um, just a straight pressure washing. We are, I already straight pressure washing and I couldn't get it off. So we'll see the difference, all right? So let's, let's, let's get it on. Okay, guys, I can already see a difference in how it looks. It's a little bit brighter, but there are some downsides sides to this. Um, as you can see, I'm digging up my foundation a little bit. All right, but that's, that's an easy fix. You know, it dries out. You can go back and get some more topsoil, put it on there. All right, let's go on down and you can see how we're still muddy in that area. Look at the bricks. Well, let me back it up a little bit so you can get it, but you see the bricks are a little bit muddier as you, as I pressure washed and I got that mortar, you see how white they became? And then we get more muddy down there. So let's stand back and we'll see it. <clears throat> like I said, it hasn't completely dried yet, but I'm a little more confident in it, and guys, that took like roughly uh, 10 minutes. So to do this whole entire wall, I'm looking at probably, I'm going to probably put about an hour in on one side. That would be with me um, spraying my chemical, the muriatic acid, um, letting it sit, and going back. Now, you saw in a video, you saw me switch um, tips. I went from the, I can tell you exactly. Some of you guys have the adjustable nozzle on there, where you a uh, turbo tip, where you can change the pressure or the angle. Whereas I went from a, uh, I was using the which one was I using at first? I was using the the forty degree. All right. Then I switched to the fifteen. Fifteen is cutting a little bit more. You know, and, and that was kind of questionable because, like, the last thing I want to do is be knocking mortar out of the bricks, all right? So, we'll go ahead and continue, and we'll see the finished product, all right? Oh, yeah, guys. Another reason why I suggest those boots, because, look, that's all that mud splashing back. Um, and that's why you need long pants on. And as you can see, I got the long sleeves with the, the gloves on. All right, so that's it. Ooh, both of them. That's that both of them. That's why you need uh, those boots on. All right. Okay, guys. Look, I just want you to see if if you can look real closely. Let me see if I can get it bigger. Look how that stuff comes comes off when I spray it on there. You see it? See how it's kind of washing down. So it's 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 eating that um. Uh, Play off there and I'll come back with like I said with the pressure washer and um, finish it off but I just want you to see that up close see, see that
Okay, you are finax and, and that's it. Look, I, I went ahead and pressure washed that. Um, so I, I know for a fact that the HOA will come by here and, and probably look at it again. And they're not going to say anything because the before and after, totally different. Now I can see some whiteness in my mortar lines and my bricks are all the same color. And like I said, you still got a little dingy in it. Um, and if you want to go back over it again, that's fine. Second application. Uh, I will recommend that you don't do this in direct sunlight because your chemical will start to dry out uh, before you can actually get it scrubbed in real good. And it is, it's, you need it to kind of absorb. If you're gonna do it in direct sunlight, my suggestion is to go ahead, spray it down, get it nice and wet, then come back, put your chemical on it, scrub it in, um, wait to five minutes, then um, scrub it off, all right? Um, now, one side of my house was in shade, the other side was in sunlight, so I had a little struggle with the part in sunlight, but it still turned out fine, so let's take a look at it. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, make sure you click that subscription button and the like button. Let everybody know. Spread the word. All right. Once again, you are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman. And I'll talk to you soon.